Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I thought I'd tell you a fun little story today. I know how some of you are like that. So welcome to another episode of Storytime with Patrick. So for this story, I thought I'd tell you about the day I went for a walk and regretted it. Um, disclaimer alert. Yes, I know. I was wearing the not appropriate footwear for walking. I know that. So don't start going, oh, you should have worn the right shoes or this and that. I know. So anyway, so I was going to go for a walk with my mom and she's like, let's go for a walk. And I was like, fine, let's do it. Healthy, you know, that nonsense. So decide to go for a walk. But I was like, you know what? I want to wear flip flops because I don't usually get to wear flip flops because I can't wear them at work. And I mean, it's getting fall-ish already, so I'm like, hey, I wanna wear flip-flops. Plus, we're gonna be walking on sidewalks. What does it matter? So I put on my shoes and my mom looks at me and she's like, mm, you're gonna be wearing those? And I'm like, yeah, we're gonna be walking on sidewalks. She's like, mm, whatever. Again, I'm not fully quoting my mother there because I don't want her to see this video and think, oh my gosh, you make me sound like a monster. Anyways, so we get out, we go for a walk, and uh, we're walking, and we're walking, and things are fine. I'm not fully regretting my shoe choice yet, but then all of a sudden she takes me on this walk, and yes, I might be slightly exaggerating, but it was hilly. Um, she takes me on the, these hilly grass mounds now, and uh, we're walking, and then it's like this grassy path. We're going, and we're going, and we're going, and we're going. And then we make it to this part where I guess it's a hill, but there's like a building because it's a funeral home at the top and they've got like a, like a driveway that loops around. So we get to that part and my mom's like, well, we're not going to walk on the grass completely. And I'm like, well, no, of course not. So we walk on the cement and we're walking all the way up and we're going to loop back down and then we're going to just cut across. So we do that. There's no one really nearby except for down down the driveway there's two uh i don't know what are they cement workers or road worker people ones that kind of do the paving of roads but anyway so we're walking and now we're about to get back on the grass and then down to another cementish road so we're doing that and i guess all of a sudden my foot gets caught because it's not a hill ish but it's grass and then the cement but there's a big piece of cement so I get my foot caught so let's just say I hit my shoe gets caught on that shoe flip-flop and shoe goes flying glasses fly off and I go slam right onto the cement so my mom stops because I went to try and grab her and I couldn't and I kind of like nudged her she turns and she's like what the she goes what's what happened and I'm just like oh and then she's like well get up because she wanted to make sure that the cement people or whatever paving people didn't see me just now sprawled on the ground and think that I've died and come running so then I get up and uh, she's like well what happened I'm like let's just let's just keep going let's just keep going so we're walking and we're walking and then finally we get far enough and uh, we're just walking I'm like it's fine let's just go so, and I, so I'm explaining what happened and then at one point I'm like can we stop to sit down so I can look so we make it to a bench and I sit down and I'm looking and I had a, a cut here I had a cut here and then I had a cut on my knee and then a little cut on my left foot side of my left foot and then my big toe on my right foot was like blackish brown the whole nail um, no bleeding or nothing too excessive so we're just walking I'm hobbling now back home and we're walking by a hospital and my mom's like mm, do you need to go to the hospital because do you know what they'd ask you what footwear were you wearing I'm like yeah yeah, yeah. let's go so we make it back home and then start cleaning myself up and stuff and uh yeah 
so then we're cleaning myself up and cleaning myself up. My mom's helping me a bit. And uh, then I sit on the couch. My mom's like, you need to like put peroxide on you. And I'm like, no, don't put peroxide on me. Soap and water. I've done first aid. That's all they say. Just use soap and water. Peroxide can be dangerous. It can dry out the wound. Don't do that. She's like, well, we need to disinfect you. We don't want you to get the flesh eating disease. I'm like, no, it's fine. Soap and water. It's fine. I did it. We're good. So I'm sitting on the couch. She sits down beside me. And then all of a sudden, I guess she had an alcohol swab, but I didn't know then. She's like, mm, against my knee. Well, that's bloody pain and feels, so I'm like yelling in pain. And she's like, calm down, calm down. You're fine. I'm like, it hurts, it hurts. And she's like, you wouldn't do this if you were at the hospital. I'm like, but it hurts. <laughs> and then she's like, mm-hmm. Wipes the next one. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is so much pain. This and that, whatever. And uh, yeah, my wounds are healing up perfectly fine now. But uh, that was the day I went for a walk and I regretted it. So yeah, wear proper footwear. Um, or, you know, don't have your mother take you on this mountainous hike when you're wearing flip flops. And if she does, you just refuse and you say, I ain't going that way. And uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this time of story time. And we'll see you in the next one with my story. And uh, yeah. So I hope you like this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'm sure I'll be telling you many more stories to come. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy yourselves. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.